Today we will discuss the mechanism of action of pralidoxine. First of all, we will see how acetylcholine performs its normal physiological function as a chief neurotransmitter of parasympathetic nervous system. So we have a presynaptic neuron and a postsynaptic neuron. The receptors for acetylcholine is present on postsynaptic neuron and these receptors are called as muscarinic receptors. Acetylcholine releases from the presynaptic neuron and binds with its receptors on the postsynaptic neuron. This produces parasympathetic effects. Now, along with muscarinic receptors, we have an enzyme acetylcholinesterase. This enzyme has two sites, asteretic site and anionic site. Acetylcholine binds with both sites. The binding of acetylcholine with this enzyme causes degradation of the acetylcholine. This degradation causes termination of action of acetylcholine and there will be no parasympathetic effects. In organophosphate poisoning, the organophosphate compound binds with the esteretic site of the enzyme. Now, acetylcholine cannot bind with the enzyme. So, there will be abundance of acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft. More acetylcholine will bind with its muscarinic receptors on the postsynaptic neuron. This results in pronounced parasympathetic effects, which is a main cause of signs and symptoms of organophosphate poisoning. Treatment of this is pralidoxine. Although the organophosphate compound occupies the esteretic site, but the anionic site of the enzyme is still free. Pralidoxine binds with the anionic site of the enzyme. Pralidoxine then makes a bond with the organophosphate compound and this entire complex dissociates from the enzyme, leaving behind the free and active enzyme. Now, as the enzyme is again activated, it will again cause the degradation of acetylcholine and terminates the action of acetylcholine, which relieves the symptoms of organophosphate poisoning. Summary, pralidoxine activates acetylcholinesterase enzyme and causes acetylcholine degradation. The dose of pralidoxine is 30 mg per kg intravenous over 30 minutes followed by an intravenous infusion at 8 mg per kg per hour.